Sorry everybody, Zooks here and welcome to week 6 of the MLBA. Today we're facing off against Shuckle King who is in our division. So this is going to be an important game, however they are currently undefeated. So <laughs> I'm not expecting much from this game going into it. And they have a very threatening team with things like the Landers Incarnate, the Thunderous Therian, Naganadel, Low and Ninetales, Mew, Mega Gallade. They also had the potential of a Skarmory, Linoon, and uh, I believe Krabby or something, uh, some type of water type. I wasn't really expecting the Linoon or the Krabby. I thought maybe the Skarmory could have been slotted in for either the Ninetales or potentially even the Gallade. Um, so looking at my team, I brought a kind of fast attacking bulky Zapdos, uh, mainly full HP, a little bit of defense, a lot of uh, special attack, and then a bit of speed to outpace like something like a defensive Mew, and also like a max speed Krabby I think I have enough speed for. In case it did get brought, I did want to have a way of dealing with it. Uh, this Zapdos can be a switch in to things like the Gallade. Uh, it can potentially take a hit or two from the Landris depending on its set, and then fire back with like an HP Ice or whatever. Then I'm running a Dragon Dance Zygarde to maybe sweep <laughs> i don't necessarily think that the zygarde will be able to sweep because uh there are a couple things that can take a hit from it at least one and then fire back with something that can oko but if i can dent holes enough to maybe zygarde for a late game or a zygarde mid game to dent holes for something like lopini i don't really know I'm running an interesting set on my Empoleon. I originally had Assault Vest because most of their offense is specially offensive. As you can tell, everything on the team is typically run special except for the Gallade there. So I did initially have a very specially defensive set, but then I decided, why don't I just run Choice Scarf? Because Flash Cannon and Oko is a little in Ninetales, Ice Beam does a lot of work to his entire team, and then Surf can hit things like the Mew and the Gallade. And then I don't remember what I was running for my last move. It was either Aqua Jet or something to hit Thunderous. I don't remember, or sorry, not Thunderous, um, Skarmory. I don't remember what it was because I think I had Surf for Skarmory. Uh, but it, it was either like Aqua Jet or something weird, uh, just in case. Then my Moongus is especially defensive as well. Uh, it can take hits really well from most things. It can't take like HP Flyings if uh, either the Genies are running that. And it can take a Psychic from Mew if it's defensive. It does not want to take Psycho Cuts though from the Gallade, so I do have to watch out for that. Then I have Gardevoir, especially defensive as well. This can take hits from pretty much everything except for the Naganadel, and I can use it to Wish Pass uh, to my Empoleon if it gets weakened. I can also Wish Pass to things like the Amoongus, but Amoongus probably doesn't need Wish support. It's just there if I need it or want it. Then I have Megalopony. I was originally going to run a very offensive set on this Lopony with like Ra Last Resort, Power Up Punch, or Agility Last Resort. Agility Last Resort would have been really cool because if the Thunderous was Scarfed or the Landers for that matter, I'd be able to outspeed. Uh, but I didn't run it because I was afraid of the Skarmory and alas the Skarmory didn't get brought. I really thought the Skarmory would get brought just because of how much of a threat Lopony could be. Uh, because it does outspeed, I'm pretty sure his entire team, if anything, is in Choice Scarfed. So, it is unfortunate that, uh, or, I mean, it's, it's fortunate that Skarmory wasn't brought, it's unfortunate that I didn't take advantage of it. So anyways, let's go into the battle. I believe here I lead with my Empoleon, because I figured he's not going to expect Scarfed Empoleon, and if he leads... Landorus, he might just stay in and click Earth Power. If he leads Thunderous, he might just go for a Volt Switch right away because nobody's crazy enough to go into Zygarde, uh, which is my own ground immunity. If he led with the Mew to try to like set up Stealth Rocks or whatever, I could learn what its set is by going for a Surf. Uh, if the Ninetales was led to try to set up Aurora Veil, I could Oko that with a Flash Cannon. And then if the Naganadel led for whatever reason, I could you know, obviously wall that and go for like an ice beam or something. So the Gallade is in and I'm thinking, okay, well, if he clicks close combat, I lose my Empoleon. Empoleon is really important in this matchup because it does a lot of work. My play here should have been Surf because he's not expecting me to be Choice Scarfed and he's probably not going to attack what's in front of him, assuming that I'm going to switch. And I do get punished for it. I go Zapdos and he Swords Dances. Now, 
with the Sword Stance, he can kill Zapdos. Without the Sword Stance, I think it's a rule uh, based on my spread and based on whether or not he's Adamant or Jolly. I don't remember off the top of my head. But here, I go into Empoleon. I get the crit. Doesn't really matter. Uh, he knocks me out with close combat. So now, with Zapdos and Empoleon gone, the game's over. <laughs> like, I can't win at this point. The only potential option I had was to deal with uh, like maybe a setup Zygarde maybe but no it's not happening so I, I get some damage off on the Mew it reveals it's pretty defensive I go into Gardevoir to try to just a something at this point uh, the nine tails is brought out which is going to take advantage of this I bring in the Zygarde now I'm thinking here okay I have to make a play he can't afford to let me set up so his, it's in his best interest to kill me here but on the off chance that he's afraid of me knocking him out with Steelium Z, which even if he was afraid of that, I'm assuming at this point that the Thunderous is Choice Scarfed or like Landorus is Choice Scarfed. So either way, he would be able to revenge me. I should have gone for Iron Tail here. I did have Iron Tail. I should have gone for it. Obviously, there's the chance to miss. But I get greedy, I try to Dragon Dance, and he knocks me out. Looking back on this play, I had no reason Dragon Dancing. As I just said, like, even if I did knock him out here, he could have gone into something to deal with the Zygarde. He could have gone into Mew to burn it. He could have gone into something to revenge kill it. So it, this was not the best play. Had I knocked out the Ninetales, and then he went to revenge, I could have gone into Gardevoir, maybe, and then potentially gotten Zygarde in to set up later on in the match. But... At this point, like, I lost the Empoleon, I lost the Zapdos anyway, so I was kind of, like, triggered, I guess. He has an Encore, which was really weird. Uh, so I'm fine with that. Honestly, like, if he set up the Aurora Veil and then Encored me into Dragon Dance or something dumb, that would have been funny. But, uh, yeah, he gets the Aurora Veil up. It's Toxic Thunderous. I guess that's for Gastrodon, but he can, like, Grass Knot it or whatever. I don't... I, don't, I actually don't know what Toxic would have been for. Maybe... Zapdos uh, It's kind of a weird bring, but maybe he just didn't have the moves or he had an extra move But yeah, I believe yeah, he revealed there he was not choice scarf and This thing is not choice scarfed So maybe the the landers was and if he didn't have any choice scarf users, then I'm really upset because <laughs> Zygarde definitely could have done something if he had no choice scarf users but yeah, the Naganadel at this point is just going to sweep with the beast boosts. There's nothing I can do. Uh, and obviously, Lopini goes down to whatever. So yeah, that's going to be the game. I'm upset about the 6-0. I knew I was going to lose going into this battle. Because obviously, like he's undefeated. He has a ridiculous team. I'm not winning. But getting 6-0 hurts. Because one, this is interdivisional. So it, it sucks losing that big. Because it's not just a minus 6 differential. It's a minus 12 based on him because obviously he's going up six i'm going down six we are going to have to rematch him later on in the season we also rematch the columbus chew and also the reno acerola two teams that we lost to so if i can win two of the rematches and then lose this one again with a better differential or even potentially win this one which would be ridiculous if i won all three i do have a slight chance of playoffs if uh the columbus chew don't do very well or if the acerola don't do very well so there's that i'm not banking on other teams doing poorly though so i am going to try to play to the best of my ability to ensure that you know if i get to playoffs it's based on my play and if i do get to playoffs based on other people playing poorly then okay cool but i am going to try to get there based on my own wins and if i don't get there i don't get there that's that's how it's going to be uh, i know I've had some really shaky games this season, and a lot of my wins have been due to setup. So uh, if, like, looking at these rematches, people are going to predict setup. I've brought setup to so many matches. Setup Lopini, Scarf Crocodile Moxie, setup uh, Zygarde. So people are expecting setup at this point, and I've been pretty obvious with that. So I am going to try to change things up a little bit here and there, hopefully for the better. But yeah, that's going to be my matchup for this week. Uh, I will see you guys next week. Kidding's bye.